All right, so one of my favorite post-workout, most universal meals is just eggs and toast. So this can be used for post-workout because you have your carbohydrates from the bread, you have uh, eggs, which are a really, really convenient, high-quality protein source. So each egg uh, will give you about six to seven grams of protein. So I like to do uh, three eggs post-workout. You can you can scale up or down depending on how many how much protein you need. And a lot of people actually ask. Are, are there a difference between brown eggs, white eggs? There's a whole aisle down the grocery store about which uh, eggs to, to choose from. And, and there's actually, there is some difference between um, traditional eggs versus organic and free range. So uh, if you really are willing to spend a few extra bucks, you get a lot of benefits out of the uh, free range organic uh, eggs that are fed a omega-3 uh, feed. So you'll see omega-3 on the carton. And that way you're getting actually more omega-3s per um, egg compared to a traditional egg. Um, and then uh, the other choices kind of go into like your ethical and humane issues with, uh, with eggs if they're free range um, versus caged uh, chickens. So that, that depends on your personal preferences. From a nutrition standpoint, I think it's worth another dollar or two to get the, the organic uh, farm raised and omega-3 eggs. So that's what I prefer to do. Um, and then when it comes to bread too, you have a whole aisle full of bread. You have everyone's preferences from white bread to wheat bread to whole grain bread. And there's a lot of debate over which ones are beneficial. And uh, I do try to avoid the, the white breads because they're highly processed and there's a lot of dyes and added to it. There's not a, really a ton of nutrient content to it. It is cheaper, but again, you're getting more bang for your buck when you go with the whole grain options. Fiber is one of the things that most Americans don't have a lot in their diet. So having a whole grain, things that you can visually see, the seeds and the grains will add to that fiber amount. Um, I love Dave's Killer Bread because I think it's got some added protein to it. It's got a good amount of fiber. You've got some omega-3s added to that as well. And um, you have 22 grams of whole grain per serving. So um, if you're an endurance athlete and you need to re replenish those glycogen stores, that's a great carbohydrate source to do so. Um, and if you just finished a uh, strength workout as well, um, it's a great carbohydrate source to pair with your protein to aid in that amino acid pool to, to add to your muscle um, repair and growth. So what we're gonna do is just a simple um, egg, egg scramble, scrambled eggs with some two slices a, of, uh, of bread. Um, so you got your carbs, you got your protein. I like to cook my eggs in butter and I like to um, put a little bit of butter on my toast as well. People are afraid of butter, but um, if it's an all-natural butter source, um, butter is a great way of, of adding some um, some good fats as well as some some density to the meal and some and some calories. So we're going to scramble up a few eggs um, and then toast some um, of our whole grain toast, and uh, and that's all it, that's all it is. So let's get started. I like to season my eggs with just a simple salt and pepper mixture. So a little bit of salt in there, uh, cracked black pepper. Um, and then all you gotta do is uh, whisk it up. So I like to just take a fork and scramble up that egg. You can add a little water if you like it a little bit thinner. You can add a little heavy cream if you want to add a little bit um, texture to it as well. Make them a little bit fluffier. The more, the more cream or, or half and half or milk that you add to it will make them a little bit fluffier, so it's all dependent on what you what you want. All right, so you're gonna uh, heat a medium frying pan over uh, medium heat. Um, I like to melt a little butter in there so it prevents it from sticking. Um, you can use nonstick spray, you can use olive oil, avocado oil, whatever, whatever you prefer. Um, so once the pan's nice and high, you see the bubbles coming up. Uh, I'm just gonna pour your scrambled egg mixture right in and start scrambling. So one of the best things about scrambled eggs or omelets is you can um, add whatever you want to this. So I'm just gonna make a traditional egg. Sometimes you're on the go, sometimes it's just easy to just go straight eggs. Um, you can add any type of vegetable that you want to this. You can add mushrooms, spinach, you can add literally whatever you want, whatever your preferences are. Um, but it's again, really easy, cheap, convenient, high protein source. We got about 21 to 25 grams of protein right here. And so that's it, you got your scrambled eggs, uh, high protein source here. Again, for post-workout, it's really convenient. Um, you know, if you're going straight home from the gym and, and don't have a ton of time, this is like really convenient. It really take, took me like about five minutes to even just do all this. So you have your, your protein source there, high quality protein, all the amino acids that you need to, uh, to rebuild after a workout. Um, three eggs, uh, has about 21, 25 grams of protein right there. A uh, whole grain source of, of carbohydrates as well in the toast. 
um, and that is a uh, convenient way, especially if you're an endurance athlete or someone that's gone through a, a long workout. Um, that's, that's a way to get your carbohydrates in to replenish those glycogen stores. Um, and then you can add some uh, avocado to this, which is a great healthy fat source. Um, you can add some butter like I do for my toast. Um, but really it's just a super cheap, convenient, easy way to get a good post-workout. Um, you hit all the macros, uh, carbs, fats, and, and protein. So uh, it's one of my favorite choices for any time of the day and, and whenever your workout is.